What? A rear-facing light on a Ford Bronco? How did that get there? Where did you get the power from? Well, stick around, because in this video, I'm going to give you guys a full-blown tutorial on how to wire a rear-facing light onto your Ford Bronco utilizing the factory aux switches. First and foremost, guys, ignore my, my jaw. It's kind of swollen up. I do not have a dip in. It's actually a second gum graft treatment, so ignore that. I'm gonna be slurring a little bit, but today's video is for those of you who want to wire in a rear-facing light on your Ford Bronco utilizing the factory aux switches and pre-ran wires. So there's a lot of information online, but no one really shows you guys how to do this. So this is gonna be a full-blown tutorial showing you guys how to wire something to the back of your Bronco, whether it be a rear-facing light or whatever, name it. So let's get started. First thing to do, pop your hood so everybody can see that nasty underhood mud. I'm just kidding. But no, pop your hood and come over to the corner. Over here where you have your brake master cylinder, you're gonna see all these wires. Now, ignore the mask because I've been doing a lot of projects here lately on this Bronco, getting it ready for a big trip that you guys are gonna watch. But nonetheless, if you locate the back of this wiring harness or look at the, the back of this wiring harness, there's gonna be six wires, okay? These are your six aux switch wires. Now, these three wires, as mentioned in a previous video, the purple one actually goes to the grill, the white goes to behind the glove box, and the black goes to behind the glove box, okay? So these wires are just pre-ran, but don't have any juice on them. These wires do have juice on them. So these are gonna be the wires that you're gonna decide, excuse me, there was a truck driving by, stupid power strokes, I'm just kidding, I have one. All right, so if you look at these wires here, they're gonna to correspond to the aux switches in the cab. So I believe, okay, no. I'm definitely sure the red one is powering my winch. That's my winch signal wire. So the yellow is going to be your aux one. Aux two is going to be your brown and white going to the green. Okay. So green is your aux two. All right. Yellow is aux one. Green is aux two. And your yellow and red is going to be your aux six. That's the one I wired my reverse light to just to make sure, or backward, I should say rear facing light, just to make sure that I don't accidentally turn on the switch in the cab and blind somebody and they run off the road behind me. So I wired it to aux six. If you wanna do that, then utilize the yellow and red wire, okay? So what your first step is gonna be when you decide to wire an accessory to the back of this Bronco, figure out what, what aux switch you want it to. Once you figure that out, you need to jumper that wire, the aux wire, as you can see here, I've got a splice connector to either the white or the brown. Now the reason being is because the white and the brown wires run through the harness and over here behind the glove box. Okay? Now in a previous video, you can watch me take the glove box out. I'm not going to display that again. I'm sure you guys can figure it out, but the glove box is out. So I'm going to show you guys where these wires actually are. Okay. So when you go inside, you're going to see a white wire, a brown wire, and a gray and orange wire, okay? But the one you're looking for is the white and the white and orange over here, okay? That white and orange wire is kind of hard to see. It's under this, I guess that's like a some kind of body control module, but if you look at the white and orange wire coming out of there, that is the one running to the rear of your Bronco. It's already pre-ran. So what you have to do is get power from your aux switch to that white and orange wire by utilizing the white wire, okay? I showed you guys under the hood the three wires by themselves that don't have power on them. One of those is white, okay? So when you attach that white wire to the corresponding aux switch color, you're gonna have power on the white wire. Now you're gonna need to connect the white wire to the white and orange wire, okay? And once you do that, you're gonna have power going from your aux switch to behind the glove box all the way down here to the back. So now we're facing the back of the Bronco. So ignore the mess. I'm getting ready for that road trip, like I said, so I'm just cleaning everything out. Okay. So once you connect the power to that rear white and orange wire, that white and orange wire is located inside of this panel. Okay. Now you can do it like I did, but I don't know if I would recommend that because it wasn't for the faint of heart. So what I did was actually take a trim piece, you know, popper, I'm going to call it the little trim wedge. I think I have it in my pocket. Um, no, I still don't. Uh, nonetheless, you can buy them on Amazon. They're a little, basically like a little plastic wedge that you stick in here to pop these loose. And that's what I actually use to pop this panel off. Now, but first you have to, sorry, my dog is killing me. 
The first thing you gotta do is pop this little plastic piece up here. This pops up and out, and that's gonna enable you to pull this from around this uh, roll bar, okay? So once you pop this out, you'll be able to pull this whole panel loose, all right? Then you need to lay your seat down up there, okay? In the Bronco. I'm gonna get a little closer so you guys can see. Okay, in the Bronco, once you let your seat down, the wire that you were looking for is in here. You can almost see in there, down there near that pillar, okay? Your white and orange wire is, okay? What I did was stick a splice down there, reach my arm down there, and splice power, you know, splice another wire coming out the back here, which I'm getting ready to show you. But that is the wire you need to be able to use your aux switches to power, you know, using the pre-ran wires. Now, to the back here, you have to run a wire from there up, I ran mine up here, okay, around here, like behind the roll bar, and through here. Now, I did drill a hole here. Now I wanna explain something to you guys about drilling holes in your trim, or I should say, in your door sills. You wanna make sure that the hole you drill is above the wire where it curves, okay? In other words, I don't, run a, I don't wanna run a wire down and drill a hole below the wire because water is gonna follow that wire down, go in a crack, okay? So what I did was I drilled a hole in this rubber door seal up in the corner. Okay, so if you look at it, you can see gravity's gonna let water run down, drip here just like normal and go out. It's not gonna come up in this hole. So that's why I ran mine this way. Now, in hindsight, I could have probably drilled in the back of this, further even back, that way it came out here and looked a little better, which I wish I would have done. But like I said, hindsight's 2020. So I ran the wire through this hole, down through this plastic piece, and down there to the wire I needed. Now, my roof rack didn't have a good ground, so that's why there's two wires here. Because one's going to a ground that you have located, you could almost see it. There's a ground wire, lo uh, you could almost see that. Anyways. You see there's kind of like a shiny thing in this crack? That's a ground stob, uh, basically like a, a terminal for something back here that's grounded. And that's where I hooked my ground wire, right? To my light. But anyways, let's keep moving. So once you get all that done, the next thing you need to do is route your wire. Now, here's how I routed my wire. You can do yours how you wish. I ran my wires in these holes that were already there. Okay, you can see these holes. I guess maybe they're for forming when they make this thing. I don't really know. But I ran my wire up through these holes, okay, all the way to this hole and through the center. If you don't use a huge wire, I think this is actually like a 10 gauge wire. Yeah, it's 10 gauge. And it doesn't get pinched when I shut this, okay? I can shut it and it's fine. It does not pinch it. It's still loose. Okay, so I ran my wire up through that to the rack and to my light, which I mounted on this off-road rack the hook road or hooky road however you say it. so that's just going to be a brief tutorial if you guys have any questions please ask them and I'll, I'll try to respond as quick as possible but that's a brief tutorial of how to get power to the back of your bronco for an accessory using your pre-wired aux switches um, i scoured the internet and i found pictures showing where that that wire was inside the the, the rear panel and Pictures do no good when you like, you know, they're zoomed in and you can only see the wire and some metal. You don't know exactly what you're looking at. So you have to go in the back. Now, in order to take that back, take that back off, you need to pop this off. It pops up forward, okay? There's two bolts under here. You need to take those loose and take this out. Then you're gonna pop this trim piece up, okay, and out. Because this piece is actually located under here, okay? Just make sure that when you put this piece back together, it's fully down because I was having trouble getting these to line up. The Basically like your plastic anchors wasn't lining up. And that's because this was actually sitting on top of that green and I couldn't tell. This needs to be behind and under the green mat. So I hope that helps guys. I know that was kind of long winded, but um, yeah, finish looks amazing. Low key, you can only see that wire there. Totally okay with this setup.